very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so really i'm very happy and proud so far and we are really back on the track because our signals so far doing really very very well and i believe all the clients are happy and satisfied with the results because we are bringing to them a lot of profit look at that these are the signals that we have sent last monday as you can see most of the signals have reached their take profit level uh, AUD GPY eventually reached the take profit number two making 50 pips of profit and please notice that we closed only one signal with only 20 pips of loss against all these profits that we have made then today thursday as you can see these are the signals that we have sent we closed only two of them in also very small losses only 25 and 30 pips i mean you know guys these are very small amounts or small amounts of pips compared to the profits that you can actually make with our signals and of course since the usd has reached the take profit number two making 50 pips of profit alone covering the losses of these two signals so therefore euro usd and the dchf have actually made good profit for the clients now i wanted to highlight something that these results can never be seen with any other signal provider meaning uh, other signals providers what they are doing is they are letting the signal to run and hit either the take profit level or the stop loss and the stop loss could be like 50 pips or even 100 pips 100 pips is it's a lot of stop loss i mean we never do that in extreme trader that's insane if in one day actually we lost 100 pips what we will do is we will offer all of the clients one extra free week as um, uh, just to recover the losses that we have made from that one bad day meanwhile some other signals providers this is actually very normal for them to lose 100 pips so i believe our service so far is really outstanding and i believe there is nothing to be compared with extreme trader i believe thankfully we are blessed to be in the first so if you wish, if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now take a look at the market and let's see what happened during these two days and let's see what happened with the signals that i have sent to you in the weekly analysis video now of course we will start with the euro usd now as we can see the euro usd actually has been triggered the signal is active and it has already reached our tech, our uh, entry level on 1.21357 hold on where is the entry uh it's by here and this is the take profit level good all right so as we can see the signal is active and please notice something you can check this trend line here it's the same which i have drawn last saturday and look at that perfection the pair actually has really reached that level touching that trend line that i have drawn right here and reversed exactly from that point so therefore the euro usd right now is running in about uh, 30 pips of profit and i believe that the pair is actually going to continue the rise now the, the remarkable thing is we are having right here a resistance trend line like this and if we see any bullish momentum happens or sorry bullish breakout candle appears like this breaking out from that resistance trend line then we can actually start buying the euro usd instantly right away we can start buying the pair and keep the trade running all the way until it hit the take profit level which is going to be the resistance on 1.2735 However, if the euro USD has actually reversed from this resistance trend line, then you can actually start buying the pair again, repeating it from the same exact from exactly the very same uh, signal provided from the weekly analysis video. So therefore, uh, as I said before, uh, you have these two options for the euro USD, and let's see what will gonna happen. I really I really expect actually that the euro USD. Um, I'm expecting actually from the euro USD. To continue the rise right away i don't see any signs or any uh, signals or any price action indicating any bearish reversal so therefore i really doubt that the pair gonna fall i think it's gonna continue the rise immediately and if you want guys you can start buying the pair once you see a bullish breakout candle appears and actually closes as a breakout candle that time you can buy the euro usd and keep the trade running until it hit the take profit level now let's look at the uh, pound usd actually i want to show you something very interesting for the pound usd just hold on bear with me one second hold, hold on 
So this is my weekly analysis video and please pay attention exactly to what I said in this second. One, two, three, hold on. Two. And right here we can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more to the same level of the support right here and then gonna reverse exactly this is what happened so look at that this is what i said is gonna happen i told you that if you want to have really the best entry instead of buying the euro so the pound usd from this level 1.36544 i really think that if you want to have the best entry just wait for the pair to fall down to the same level of the support on 1.36099 and then you can start buying the your uh, the pound usd that's exactly what happened and the pair actually has reached that level of the support and as we can see it rose immediately after that uh, for a total of 132 pips i really hope you guys have taken this signal because it really made a lot of profit so uh, pound usd actually has already reached the take profit level almost there i, I would say it, it, it already did um just a three or four pips doesn't make any difference so what next with the pound usd let's see now what's next with the pound usd actually right now the pair is uh, reversing at that resistance as i said before uh, at, uh on 1.37402 hold on guys i just removed my headphones they are annoying all right so the pair actually has reversed on that resistance so now what's next if we draw here a fibonacci retracement as you can see we're having right here a strong level on fibonacci 50. Uh, what we can do actually is we can start again buying the pound USD at the uh, Fibonacci 61.8 because as we can see it was also a strong resistance in the past but however I strongly suggest that we should wait for the pair to fall for Fibonacci 50 which was also here a previous resistance after that uh, pullback we can co uh, start continuing buying the pair why there is a reason behind that because of course of this resist uh, support trend line if we check this support trend line look at that this is perfection check it out so i have moved my support trend line here in a way that the, the support trend line is touching the bottom of this support right here and also the support right here now if we notice it all of these lines actually are gathering on fibonacci 50. so if the pair actually gonna reverse right here it's first of all it's gonna hit this previous resistance which was also the nearest resistance to the support to the, to the resistance uh, before it will be the nearest resistance to the bullish breakout candle add to that that is actually going to hit this support trend line and then going to continue the rise therefore and that being said hold on please yes that being said let me now delete this signal for the pound usd and right now actually this is this is exactly where we are st going to start buying the pound usd again just above level uh, fibonacci level 50 so therefore uh, buy again for the pound usd at 1.36821 and of course this is gonna be our safe zone it's gonna be uh, just at the level of that support level let me delete fibonacci oh shit okay just like that i believe this is gonna be no that's a lot can just make it like this that's normal yeah 50 pips is, is just perfect and of course in that scenario yep let me just now show you where we can actually take the profit the take profit level should be actually placed a little bit above that resistance uh, i would estimate it about 83 pips let me just look at the left just to be sure we're not placing these lines randomly yes perfect because here we're having a previous support so most likely the pair is actually going to continue the rise until it hit it so therefore uh, the take profit level is going to be actually take profit is going to be 1.37650 um, now there is a remarkable thing here something we have to talk about if this signal the pound usd is going to continue the rise all the way until it touches the take profit i talked about then this signal is no longer valid please pay attention because we have to pay we have to be careful for these trades um, once they reach the take profit level I don't really recommend to start buying the pair again so there goes uh, the signal for the pound usd and i hope also it's going to be valid and we can make some good profits out of it aud usd is uh, triggered as well as we can see the pair has reversed perfectly from from the buy level guys i mean seriously all of the signals have been triggered and perfectly went in the profit all of them literally literally all of them 
and I believe I can take some credit for that. So now what's next with the pound USD, right? No, sorry, with the AUD USD. Right now, AUD USD is running in 61 pips of profit, and we can expect if you want to start buying the pair again, if you want to start to buy the pair again, uh, if I'm not mistaken, right here is going to be the perfect level to start again buying the AUD USD. So let me just change the line here. Uh, just like that. Perfect. Yes. Uh, the reason, of course, is we are having here a strong bullish candle. This this is the strong bullish bullish candle. And if we look at the left, we can see this remarkable strong support level, which was also a support right here. And when remember, once that support re uh, became a resistance, it didn't hold the position e even for one time uh, with one attempt, one single attempt and immediately has been broken out from. So therefore, we can expect from the AUD USD to reverse at that previous resistance right here, making a pullback and hitting our buy entry. And then we can start buying the pair again, keeping the exact same take profit level from the past or sorry, from the previous trade. So AUD, AUD USD signal is going very well and we are going to keep it. This is just the new buy level. USD CAD. USD CAD actually uh, has been triggered as well, as you can see. AUD, uh, sorry, USD CAD has been triggered exactly from that point right here. And the pair has went in total of uh, 93 pips, I would say, uh, of profit, of course, before reversing at that resistance level on 1.27725. Now what's going to happen next? Most likely what's going to happen next, AUD, uh, sorry, the USD CAD is falling to revisit that same level of the previous support right here on 1.26770. I believe that's going to be the level where the USD CAD is actually going to reverse and continue the rise. I strongly, strongly believe that the USD CAD is actually going to rise. So therefore, we have to adjust our uh, next signal. If no, no need to adjust anything actually. So this is the signal as we can see, and we can expect from the USD CAD to fall all the way to hit that previous support level right here on 1.266. Uh, seven eight and from that point the pair is actually gonna continue the bullish reversal so you can keep your trade running and of course don't keep it running at all if you see a strong bearish breakout candle has appeared like that so in that scenario you should know that the pair most, most likely is going to continue the fall so far i don't think the usd cad is going to fall and i believe it's going to uh, continue the rise of course the reason for my beliefs is looking at that support right here and the rejection from the market to break out from the support several times indicates that this support right here is very strong and the market is actually relying on it to continue the rise so therefore uh, the usd cad is still good for the buy usd jpy usd jpy signal has also been triggered as we can see perfectly perfectly fine from the level i have mentioned to the short and of course from the resistance trend line so far usd jpy is going in total of 25 pips of profit and i believe uh, that the trade is going to continue the fall until it hit the take profit level so actually there is nothing to be changed about the usd jpy you can still enter the trade if you want and hopefully it's going to be very well USDCHF. USDCHF has also been triggered also from the exact same level I have mentioned to start shorting it. As we can see, uh, the pair is right now uh, going in total of 18 or 19 pips of profit. Uh, remarkable is that this resistance trend line that I have drawn from the last weekly, uh, weekly analysis video has been respected again. Look at that. I didn't even change it and the USDCHF has reversed exactly from that point. Guys, I really know I talk too much. So anyway, USDCHF is going is going very well. I see no reason to close the trade or do anything about it. It's just going well and we are going to keep it. So if you have entered the sale order, please keep it going. Now with the gold, let's see. As you can see, I have mentioned that we can start actually buying the gold exactly from this level on 1849.82. And look at that perfection. This is what I call perfection. This is a perfect signal. Gold has reversed exactly from that level and it went all the way up, total, making total of 183 pips of profit. And again, it fell all the way down 
after reversing on that resistance and again the very same level of the support i have mentioned has been respected again guys i'm not showing off i'm just really very proud of my work and very yeah i just feel very proud of my signal i mean i have the right to do that right anyway right now the gold is running in total of 16 pips and as we can see the pair has reversed from the same level exactly so now what should we do let me tell you frankly honestly speaking right now uh, the take profit level has to be changed the take profit level is gonna be actually uh, dragged a little bit below to be 1877 of course with this uh, because right now the gold has actually entered a neutral mode and right now i don't see any strong bearish or bullish uh, momentum so therefore i really doubt that the gold is actually going to continue the rise to reach our all take profit level so therefore uh, our new take profit level is going to be uh, 1877 1877 that's going to be our new take profit level and let me tell you something right now the gold is being triggered and is active and is running in profit however we can expect from the gold to continue the fall for a little bit more and let me tell you that we can expect from the gold to continue the fall until it reaches that support level right here on 1845 let me write it for you let me just zoom in um second buy we can place at 1845.07 because as i said before guys this level was a strong support in the past as you can see this we had here a strong support in the past which was also a strong resistance as well that just simply cannot be ignored and right now since the gold is actually moving in a neutral channel it's not clear if it's, this is a, a bearish or a, a bullish momentum so therefore we, we can expect from the gold eventually to fall down to that support level and from that point it's actually gonna be better also to start the buy again so my advice for you if in case you didn't enter the signal of the gold then just try to wait for the better opportunity and wait for the gold to fall and hit this level but i really hope also that the gold is actually gonna continue to rise immediately all the way to hit our take profit level so of course we have to still uh, we still have to actually pay attention to the news to the announcements from the leaders whatever happens in the world from uh, on economic news or uh, if in case for example if there was unexpected news about the vaccine in the united states uh, then this is going to be either very bad or very go good for the gold so we have to pay attention to these in news guys so in the end i really uh, see this week is going really very well and i really hope it's going to continue to give us a lot of profits and going to continue to be a very good week so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching